USAO soccer is known for attracting motivated international students, and Frank Gibson is no exception. Between double majoring at USAO, helping coach Chickasha High School soccer, and playing for an NAI top 10 soccer team, Gibson has very little time to miss his native Scotland. He tells us a little about himself and why his teammates call him Jackie Moon, all on this week's show. This is In the Saddle. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Hi and welcome to another edition of In the Saddle with Drover Sports. Our guest this week, Frank Gibson with the men's soccer team. The men still ranked number 10 in the country and they're off uh, a big win over Bethel College in North Newton, Kansas yesterday. Let's bring in Frank and Frank, it's been almost two weeks since you guys played so I'm sure you guys were pretty excited to get back on the field. Oh, definitely, all the boys were, were definitely ready for the game. They flew, they came out of the traps well and you know, we were buzzing just to get going and, and get into that game, you know, all, all the boys have been talking about it all week and they were definitely, definitely ready to get out there. It was the first game you played since you got the top 10 ranking, so I know you're really uh, ready to go and certainly you put in a good performance yesterday. Yeah, definitely, uh, well, getting in the top 10 is definitely a good recognition for us, you know, but also with, with that there's a lot of teams out gunning for you, you know, definitely teams are wanting to come out and play well, probably their best game of the season, so Although there's a bit of pressure that comes with it as well, but we were definitely ready for it, and you know it's something that we thrive on and we build on every year, and it's nice to get the ranking. USAO also number one in the Sooner Athletic Conference, and uh, right on your heels are, I believe, uh, OCU and Roger State. You've got one more non-conference game coming up, and you got a big rematch with OCU coming up next week. Definitely, it's the one that everyone's been talking about, everyone's been waiting for. We've got a big game against Tabor on Friday. We'll be looking forward to. Yeah, going out and uh, dealing with that first, but definitely next Tuesday against the uh, City will be a big one, and that's what everyone's looking forward to, the opening of the conference. The reason being is because you beat OCU to win the conference championship last year in the conference tournament and then get to the national tournament. That's correct, Jay, and they'll definitely be gunning for us as well. They'll be definitely looking to get a bit of revenge, so it'll be an interesting match. We're definitely ready for it, and that's what we've been preparing towards the whole preseason. So. Let's talk about Frank a little bit and from Scotland and talk about your first experiences now uh, in the States. Yeah, I've, this is my senior year and I've loved every minute of out here. I, I wish I could stay another four years to be honest. It's, it's been amazing. I miss my family a lot back home but you know, it's really, I've really enjoyed every minute of out here and I will love USU and everything it has to offer. Interesting how you and Coach Hampton came together. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, well, it was my friend that done a golf scholarship over in the U.S. before, and uh, he he put me on to this company back home. That, and uh, Coach Hampton and Coach Villarreal, they were looking at the internet and they found me and they they, they got me here. And it was nice. To, it was nice to get a little offer to come to USU. I know what the the way the, the the high quality coaches here, and the, you know they're always moving forward and. The, the, the school itself is fantastic. So. You'd like to play soccer uh, if possible, but it's the, the talent level's pretty good up there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, the talent levels back home is very, very hard to make it professionally, and uh, they've, we've not really got scholarships back home, so this is the ideal kind of place to come, and it's the education you've got as well. If soccer doesn't happen, you don't happen to make it in soccer, then you've always got your education to fall back on, which I believe is a, a, a big attraction for coming out here for most young Scottish people. So you think you might want to coach if you can't uh, play professionally? Yeah, that'd be ideally. I'd love to play, but coaching would definitely be up there on my list to to stay out here and coach. Kind of getting your feet wet in that area too a little bit, aren't you already? Yeah, down a uh, coach down in Chickasha High School, which is I love. I, I really enjoy it. I enjoy it much more than I thought I was going to, and I love being down there and amongst the people and the, the coaches down there. 
You've got an interesting nickname. Now tell us about that and how you came about it. Yeah, my nickname's Jackie Moon. It's from the uh, movie uh, Semi Pro, and my friends all nicknamed me in freshman year because they knew my, I was a bit of a basketball fanatic and I loved to play in murals and stuff. So yeah, I got that amply named and it's stuck ever since. All right, so physical education major, right? And things are going well for you? Yeah, it's going great. I'm doing a, a, a business major as well along with it, and uh, it's going great. It's a lot of work, but yeah, I enjoy it. It's, that it's, it's a lot easier to study when you're enjoying the, the work that you're doing. And of course, if you can't, uh, if the coaching thing doesn't work out, you got a family business you can maybe that's take correct, part in. That's huh? correct, yeah. My dad's got bars back home, and my family all working and stuff, so that's definitely something that I'll look at maybe if it doesn't work out here. but. It's something that I enjoy when I go back home, but I, my heart's definitely out here with the coaching and with the soccer. Frank, thanks for coming out and joining us on this week's program. Good thanks luck. very much for having me. All right, the Drovers uh, in action Friday uh, at the Drover pitch, and they'll be taking on Tabor College. Games are two and four. Again, the last non-conference game for USAO. They'll open up conference play next Tuesday at home with OCU, and they're also at home Friday with Oklahoma Christian. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of In the Saddle with Drover Sports. Remember, if you can't make it out to USAO home games this season, you can follow all the action live on USAO's sports website. Now don't miss our show each week. We're available on local channel 18, cool 105.5 FM, and USAO's sports website. We'll see you next week on In the Saddle.